Well, we have seen the headlines we all have, and they, we scratch our heads. Celebrity millionaire files for bankruptcy. Wow. Here to show us what we can learn from these celebrities and the mistakes that they have made and how we can actually live a life, a life of luxury, no matter what your income is, is, and there's only one man that can answer that question, is our consumer debt expert. That's only one of Harvey here. Warren is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome Glad to be back. here. Thanks for having me again. Are they, can you give us some examples of some of the celebrities that have gone through this that we just go, really? Well, we've all heard about MC Hammer. Yeah. And we yeah. know Nick Cage had a lot of problems. Yeah. But there's some really surprising ones. Walt Disney went through five rounds of bankruptcy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really? He was trying to get his company. Yeah, uh, Milton Hershey. Hershey chocolate? Yeah, the Hershey chocolate people. There's, there's a, Abraham Lincoln went through a series of bankruptcies. Really? Really. So it's, it, it, there are personal bankruptcies that happen because people get off track in their personal lives. And then there's people like Disney who was trying to build an empire. Yeah. That's a different kind of a thing. We're talking about someone like Mike Tyson who makes $300 million and then goes bankrupt. How'd that happen? How yeah, did, well, that, how did yeah, that happen? Yeah, exactly. How does that happen? The 5150, well, 50, I guess. guess. <laughs> Thanks to Clay, yeah. yeah. It's, it, you spend $301 million and you're bankrupt. And yeah. you become well, disconnected from the cost of your plane and your entourage and all the stuff that goes with it. You become disconnected. So you're not staying on top of like your accountants or looking at what your bank account is, where your money is going. And then the just like normal for, people. Just like normal people. Well, I, I will yeah. I will say I once had a conversation with Jennifer Lopez about this. And really? she said, Yeah. And not that they were she was bankrupt or anything like that, but we were talking about the money and she said it you after a while you know you really don't know who's handling. She has so many things and businesses exactly. going on. Just to keep an eye on who's doing the job for her is a job in itself to make sure that they're not stealing or or you know, I'm not accusing anybody happens, of doing so, that. Yeah. But it's happened where they take money and you're like, wow, I had no idea they were embezzling or doing something. And it's a whole different sort of rich people's problem scenario, but how does this relate to us? Well, look, I mean, you're seeing all those commercials about how to plan for your retirement. When you look at a celebrity who has a big earning, like an NFL player, sports figures all the time have this problem. They have 10, 15 years of very high income, and they've got 45 years of retirement. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah. So what seems like a ton of money right now turns out not to be a ton of money when the agents and managers are all done with it. That's the problem. And the lifestyle that you live, like the big, the cars, the mansions, the planes and all that, and you don't see beyond? Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit how to do that for a day or two, but oh. when you do it every day, it right. ends up badly. Okay. You know, Super Agent Lee Steinberg did that a lot with his athletes when he would yep. get them, is he would make sure that they had some sort of financial planning set aside and also do commitment to charitable work as well. Uh, all right, so tips for us and how we can shop like celebrities and go down that road? Is well, you know, there's always the, the bricks and mortar stuff. There's the... You know, the Nordstrom Rack and Marshalls, where you can get great bargains. You can find an Armani right. watch for $300 for 125 bucks there. Those are the really, you know, good spots for, you know, discount shopping. And when you have a, a, an idea about a spending plan rather than a budget, this is when people, like, kind of get off track. If you go into a store with a clear idea of what you want to spend, then you find yourself not getting in trouble. When people go in like a rock star and they've got that plastic in their pocket and they go, gee, let's just have whatever we need, that's when it gets to be a problem, it's just like a rock star. Well, if we wanted to live, let's say, for a day or vicariously through a star, how, how can we do that? Can you get into a home or rent sure. a car? Or you can travel like a rock star. You can, you know, rewards are there for people, an ordinary people. I've been to Europe five times on points. You've been to Europe five, five times? Five times on points. Really? Yeah, and there's lots of really wonderful sites where you can, you know, find terrific travel bargains. Uh, Vacations.com is one of them. Sure. Uh, what can we find on vacations.com? A cruise for 80% off. Wow. How is that possible? Yeah. Like we're Well, yeah. the boat's going to sail. And yeah. if, the, if the boat's room is empty, it's not like they can sell it next week. It's gone. Right. So, they, you know, they have some pretty good deals on that. Um, we have vacation packages. Uh, there's a place called homeaway.com, which is another wonderful site, which um, offers um, residences. I was looking at one in Rome last night. That looked fabulous, and it was. I'll go with you. You're Should on. we go? Well, I Let's picked up. Go. I picked up lunch. You might as well come okay. to Rome with me. <laughs> I have a friend who every year goes to Paris, and they rent an apartment there, and and she lives for two weeks like the Parisians do. You know, the bakeries, and you know, but but they rent for a very affordable price, which right. shocks me. And it's a beautiful apartment. And in these scenarios, at those websites, these are places that celebrities stay. So you're likely to find someone in your building. Oh, I saw that guy on TV. Maybe you know. Yeah. Maybe you guys. All right. 
Do you have any cautionary advice for us as we try to live like a celebrity? Yeah, just don't do it every day. Don't do it every day? Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's an old expression in Hollywood, oh. spend the fame, save your money. Well, what if I want to rent a Ferrari? <laughs> well, you, you can rent a Ferrari. There's a, there's a website called locatemyluxurycar.com, locatemyluxurycar.com. Really? And you can pick up a Lamborghini. The trick is not to do it every single day. Yeah. That's when you get in trouble. That's a, yeah. yeah, they do. And you, you see the celebrity lifestyle and the way they hang out, and you just go, wow, every single day, that is... Yeah. A lot. I know, you know, you read stories about MC Hammer and the entourage that traveled with him and things like that. They I traveled just me and the kids. In, they your, in, in the minivan. Yeah, in the minivan. You know? <laughs> yeah. They needed a spending plan just yeah. like do, we do. Do they have minivan to go or whatever it is, dot com? I'm sure they can, do. You can rent that nice. Uh, mm, it hurts. So the lesson <laughs> is to be careful. To be careful. But good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My thank pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for more information uh, uh, about this uh, and Harvey's tips, you can visit our um, Home and Family Facebook page. Uh, and you can also get some financial tools by visiting HarveyWarren.com.